A $40 million investment could pave the way for a major development across the street from Daytona International Speedway. The city of Daytona Beach and Volusia County are considering the idea. If it's approved, each municipality would spend about $20 million each for infrastructure improvements. Developers say the tentative $280 million project would be named One Daytona. Shops, restaurants, hotels, and residential apartments would be included. Developers estimate One Daytona will create several thousand direct and spin-off jobs. The extensive renovation of one of Palm Beach's most renowned estates has earned accolades. The garden at historic Villa Artemis, designed by Nia Vera Williams Design, just won the third annual Leslie S. Smith Landscape Award from the Preservation Foundation at Palm Beach. The honor was announced at the foundation's headquarters on Peruvian Avenue during the annual dinner of its preservationist club. Construction on U.S. navigable waterways without a permit has landed a South Florida man in hot water. U.S. District Judge K. Michael Moore sentenced 70-year-old Richard Bunnell of Miami to six months of home detention plus $225,000 in fines and payments for building illegal docks and piers on navigable waterways. Bunnell had previously pleaded guilty to violating the Federal Rivers and Harbors Act by building six illegal structures on Miami area waterways. Bunnell's fines and payments go to the South Florida National Parks Trust for management and restoration efforts. Furthermore, under a plea agreement, Bunnell must modify the structures so they comply with federal law. Today is the first day of Florida's annual legislative session. Already landmark legislation aimed at better protecting Floridians from rapists and child molesters is expected to pass in the state Senate. The legislative package would toughen sex crime sentences, increase community monitoring, and keep more of the most dangerous offenders confined after their prison terms end. It would provide the most comprehensive overhaul of sex offender legislation in more than a decade. Some senators are expected to take the unusual step of quickly moving through the debate stage and directly to a vote. Longtime lobbyist Ron Watson has left the Florida Dental Association to lobby for looser medical marijuana laws. Watson, who lobbied for doctors and dentists for 20 years, advocates more favorable laws for a strain of medical pot named Charlotte's Web. Its backers believe it can dramatically reduce seizures in children with a rare form of epilepsy. Watson's efforts also help him channel his grief over the death of his eight-year-old son Dylan from cancer two years ago. Florida's Republican state legislators are divided about Charlotte's Web, which is a non-euphoric, oil-based marijuana extract. Some Venezuelans who have been on the streets of Caracas demanding change now call South Florida home, and they're looking to Washington lawmakers for help. This week, it didn't take long for them to connect. On Monday, U.S. Congress members Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Jill Garcia met with local Venezuelans to try and address their concerns. Wasserman Schultz remarked that the U.S. has always stood as a moral leader against human rights violations and does so today.